the reasons for having a password to your website are myriad. You may be in the staging area process of the website, so you haven't taken out a subscription, but you're still building and you want to send the site to someone. It's going to have to be password protected. And there's going to be all sorts of other reasons why you might want to add a password. The good news is, A, you can, and B, it's really easy to do. So I'm going to show you how to add a password to the whole site on Squarespace. Adding a password is super easy to do. If we go into settings and then we go to site availability, you're going to have the option if you've subscribed to your Squarespace website to go public or password protected or private. Private just means no one can get onto it unless they're a contributor to the site. But password protected allows anyone to go onto it if you give them the password. And this is particularly handy for when you haven't subscribed. So let's say you're building a website and you haven't yet subscribed to Squarespace, but you want to show people. You can send them the password or you can send them the link and then you can send them the password and then they can log in, peruse the site as you would a live website and give you feedback. Or if you don't want feedback and just want to show it off, then you can do that too. Um, so I find this a really, really useful tool, especially with clients, because when I'm trying to showcase a website that's in progress to a client, this is just perfect. So ramble over. If we click on password protected, by default, it will be on private. But if we click password protected and then P-A-S-S, -S, that's what I do for all my sites, just pass. Hit save. And then the password is on. Then if you go to, for instance, let's copy our URL and then we'll go into an incognito window. You can see it presents users with a password page. If I then go P-A-S-S -S and enter, I can peruse the site and all my crazy designs, even though I am not on the website. Obviously, I'm incognito. So, that's a super easy way to send people to your site without having to subscribe. And overall, it's just a really handy trick. Even if you are already subscribed, but need to just sort of go private on the site for a little bit. Maybe you're doing some overhauls to designs, but you want certain people to be able to access it. Or you, let's say, I, I see this quite a bit with e-commerce stores where they'll offer early access to the website for people who are signed up to a newsletter, for instance. You can set any password that you want, send it to these people, they can have early access to, let's say, a drop. And there's tons of other use cases. If you're on this video, obviously, you've got your own use case. But anyway, hopefully this has been helpful. And if it has, please make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe, and check out all of the Squarespace resources in the description below.